Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in this tutorial you will learn how to synchronize the Google Calendar bookings with the Jet Booking functionality via iCal synchronization and transfer booked dates from the WordPress website to the Google Calendar and vice versa. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Besides, if you want us to make more useful tutorials, like this video and leave your comments down below. So, let's get started! iCalendar or shortly iCal is a media type that allows users to store and exchange calendar and the schedule information such as events, to-dos, journal entries, and the free or busy information. iCal is used in many major scheduling or calendar software as well as email clients that provide calendar functionality. If you want to show the booked items on the Google Calendar, you need to synchronize it with the data on the WordPress website with the JetBooking plugin. With iCal synchronization, you can transfer bookings from the website to the Google Calendar and vice versa. Before we proceed, check the tutorial requirements. And also, if you want to follow the written guide, please check the links in the description box below. Firstly, we needed to enable the iCal synchronization. For that, go to the WordPress dashboard, Bookings, Settings, Advanced tab. Turn the Enable iCal synchronization toggle on and set the calendar sync interval and the calendar sync start options. A quick note here. According to the following article, it might take 12 hours for changes to show in the Google Calendar. So the calendar sync interval option is applied only when you export bookings created via the Google Calendar to the website. Now reload the page and proceed to Bookings, Calendars. Here you will see the posts of the custom post type connected to JetBooking during setup. If you press the iCalendar template button right here, a pop-up appears where you can set the booking information that will be exported to the Google Calendar. In the summary and the description fields, you can combine the plain text with the Jet Engine macros. To generate macros, click this link. You will be automatically redirected to the macros generator page that opens in the new window. I will use two macros Jet Booking Status and Jet Booking Unit Title. Set the additional settings if needed and copy a macro from the last field. Now let's get back to the iCalendar template pop-up. To the summary field, you can add title macro, then booking, and all that followed by unit title macro. Ok, proceed to the description. So the macros I entered into the template should display the name of the apartment, the unit name if any, the current booking status, and the price for one day, night, depending on the booking status and the booking settings. That's it. After you finish setting up the iCalendar template, hit the Save button and wait until the Done notification appears in the upper right corner. Be aware that the iCalendar template will be shown only with the bookings transferred from the website to the Google Calendar. Now, before moving further, create several bookings on the website to display them in the Google Calendar. You can make it with the booking form on the single page, 
or there is also a way to create bookings faster. Simply proceed to the bookings and push the Add a New button. Here goes the next step. We will create a calendar to transfer bookings from the website. Open the Google Calendar, hit the Add other calendars button right here and select From URL. Now return to the Bookings Calendars tab and copy the export URL of the needed apartment or apartment unit. Enter the copied export URL into the field, tick the Make the Calendar Publicly Accessible checkbox and click the Add Calendar button. After that, you will get the calendar created, fetching events in the background notification at the bottom of the page. Now let's go back and check the Google Calendar. Great! There are two bookings I previously added on my website. I will push three dots near the newly created calendar, proceed to its settings and rename it. Be aware that the bookings added to the Google Calendar can be viewed only and you can edit them only from the WordPress website. By clicking on the booking, the pop-up appears with the information previously set in the iCalendar template. Now move it to the Google Calendar Sync settings. Tick the checkbox near every newly created calendar to enable synchronization access and hit the Save button. We are done with the first part. To set the two-way synchronization, you need to create a second calendar for every booking item. The first calendar will display bookings made on the website. For the second one, you can create bookings on the Google Calendar platform and export them to the website. Now press the Add other calendars button and choose the Create new calendar option. Name the calendar and I recommend naming two calendars for one item identically. Give it a description if needed and choose the time zone. Go back to the general view and find the newly created calendar in the My Calendars section. Here, you can change the color so it matches the first calendar. Then choose the Settings and Sharing option in the three dots menu. In the Access Permissions section, tick the Make Available to Public checkbox. Now scroll down to the Integrate Calendar section and copy the public address in iCal format. Now return to the calendar and create a few bookings for the newly created calendar to test the synchronization. Proceed to your website's dashboard, Bookings, Calendars, find the item for which you have created the calendar in Google and press the Edit Calendars button. Hit New URL, paste the public address you copied to the bar and press the Save button. After that, push the Sync button on the right side. You will see the Synchronizing Calendars notification. Be aware it imports only bookings created via Google Calendar. Now push the Close button and proceed to Bookings, Bookings list. Here you can see all bookings created on the website and Google Calendar. And if I try booking an economy room right now, you will see that five dates are unavailable for booking, meaning that the synchronization works perfectly. Guys, please keep in mind, for every apartment or apartment unit, you will need to create two separate calendars 
to make the two-way synchronization. Besides the Google Calendar, you can import and export bookings to any services such as Booking.com and Airbnb that contain the public address in iCal format. To learn how to get a public address, check the documentation of the booking service which you want to synchronize with your website. And that's it! The Google Calendar and the JetBooking plugin are synchronized via iCal synchronization and now you can book rooms from the WordPress website and the Google Calendar and they all will be displayed in the Google Calendar app and JetBooking. Like this video if it was useful for you, make sure to leave your comments down below and of course make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.